good afternoon or morning, everyone, wherever you are. Um, I'm excited to have had the opportunity to present to you all, albeit virtually. Um, today, I'll be taking you through um, some of the methods and results of a collaborative project between Aerometrics and the City of Udley, a metropolitan uh, local government area in Adelaide, South Australia. Uh, this case study highlights how remote sensing technologies such as airborne LIDAR can be used to quantify how the urban forest is changing and also how it can enable local governments develop smart targeted urban forest management policies as well as promote community engagement in greening initiatives all using methods that can be scaled up to citywide and statewide assessments. So the, the city of Unley is a local government area here in Adelaide, and they're also a tree city of the world and one of only five we have in Australia. And they've committed uh, to achieving a 31% tree canopy cover by the year 2045. To help them achieve this goal in 2021, city of Unley commissioned us Aerometrics uh, to map the change in tree canopy cover across the city from 2018 to 2021. And the goal of this project from our end was to provide them with a quantitative understanding of how many trees there are, their spatial distribution throughout the community and how the trees are changing with time. All uh, which would help the council understand the state of their urban forest and to develop smart management policies to continue working towards their 2045 target. Just as a bit of background on the city of Unley, it covers 14 and a half square kilometers of inner city urban Adelaide. 80% of the council area is privately owned land and 16% is council controlled land. And importantly, as part of their commitment to reach their 31% tree canopy cover target by 2045, they require a net increase of 0.7 square kilometers of tree canopy cover as compared to a benchmark study they conducted in 2013. So the methods that we used uh, for this project uh, were uh, an object-based image analysis and traditional geoprocessing workflow uh, that were used to produce a full classification of how the, the tree canopy was changing with time. And LIDAR-derived change detection, combining two separate epochs of LIDAR data, can have a couple of advantages compared to other methods using aerial imagery and machine learning because they're free of perspective effect errors that can be uh, a, present in aerial imagery and they could be more sensitive to change than to some of the random point sampling methods that have been met, uh, mentioned previously. So this is an example of the result of the tree canopy change detection uh, across the city of Unley where we have areas of change that are classified as existing tree growth as well as areas of new tree planting. We can also classify losses as where trees have been removed, either individual trees or continuous stand of trees, as well as areas of pruning reduction where an existing tree has had a, a, some canopy removed in, in the management program. And as well, importantly here, shown in yellow are areas of where the tree canopy hasn't changed between those two epochs. And uh, as we begin to look at this classification, we can see that at the because of the high resolution of these data sets, all these data sets have a spatial resolution of 10 centimetres, we can begin to see that the tree canopy cover at the property level within the city of Unley is highly dynamic. So there's a lot of changes going on in the period of three years, both gains um, due to uh, existing trees and new trees, as well as losses where trees and canopy are being removed. And some of the important insights that we were able to provide uh, the city of Unley were that over the three years of this project from 2018 to 2021, their tree canopy coverage had increased by 1.37% to 27.99%. And that represents a really important positive step for the council as they work towards their 2045 target of 31% tree canopy cover. And equally as important is we actually get an understanding of where those changes are occurring in the, in, the, in the area of interest, as well as what processes are driving those changes. So we see that 68.7% of all tree canopy losses are occurring on private land. And that the biggest uh, and largest and most statistically significant losses of tree canopy cover across the city of Unley have all occurred at areas of recent urban development on privately owned land where we see that the development and urban infill practices are removing large amounts of tree canopy. 
And then by exploring the, the classification of those changes, we can begin to understand the specific uh, processes that are going on. So we can see that existing tree growth is actually contributing five times more the amount of new canopy than newly new trees planted that were planted in those three years. And that without that contribution of existing trees, the loss of pruning reduction and tree removal would have far outstripped tree planting alone. And that the average contribution of newly planted trees was 3.8 meters squared. And the total loss of tree canopy across the city of Unley was equivalent to roughly 78,000 uh, of those newly planted trees. And this is a really exciting project because not only do we understand how we can capture the remote sensing data and use that data, but the city of Unley are now incorporating that into their existing GIS model of the council area so that they can explicitly begin to incorporate the tree canopy cover into their policy development going forward. So they were able to uh, uh, ingest the tree canopy cover coverages from both years and the change detection and intrinsically link those to property data and rateable asset data. So they can begin to include those in any policy developments that they, they use uh, uh, in the coming years. And already we're beginning to see some benefits for the city of Unley about using this data where at the suburb and street level, they can actually begin to reveal the trends that are going on along specific streets. So some streets have large increases in, at the property level uh, tree canopy coverage, while some are, uh, are having large losses, even though the overall property canopy coverage for this suburb here, this is an example of Unley Park, overall it, the properties have an average increase of 2.75. So they can begin to incorporate these insights and understand were these losses due to existing management programs that we're implementing and were expected, or are these unexpected losses that we need to address and make sure we understand why they're occurring. And as we dive deeper into, into finer scales, so at, this, at the individual property level, the city of Unley actually count, calculated the specific loss or gain of tree canopy cover on every rateable property within, the, within their council area. So here we have one example of a single property that lost al almost 200 square meters of tree canopy cover over three years. And that represents a loss on that property of 78.9%. And it's really important for the council because it's these specific property level losses that they can begin to incorporate into rates policies that they can specifically use to educate individual rate paying uh, property owners within the, within the council to make sure they're building awareness about not only what's going on on their properties, but what those effects, what those losses or gains mean for the greater council and the greater community. And it's a really important foundation for the education and the strengthening of community and grain, uh, engagement in the greening initiative. So we have an example here of a flyer that was distributed to all ratepayers within the city of Unley. And it tells them that the average private property coverage for April, 2021 was 22.34%. And this provides really important background knowledge to those really important questions that they want all of the community members to be asking themselves, such as, is there tree canopy cover above or below average? And do they have space to plant any new trees? And the council, uh, has uh, the understanding that not all properties are the same. Some properties don't have any space to plant trees, but it's really important to have these questions in the forefront of rate, pay, rate paying members' uh, minds as they begin to plan developments and they understand that how important preserving the existing tree canopy on their property is. And it really sums up a really nice tool that they can use because the ability to reduce canopy loss and preserve existing trees and to utilize plantable space on private land is going to be key for the city of Unley to continue that increase in tree canopy coverage they've successfully nurtured over the last three years and continue that into the years to come to keep the, their council area leafy and green into the future. And I think that's about all I have time for. So please feel free to, to send through any questions you have um, to the email on screen.